Hey guys, James Zane. So in today's video, we're going to look at the 2020 Hyundai Sonata, the level two uh, automation. There's five different levels, just six different levels of autonomous driving. This is a level two. It doesn't mean that the car will drive for you, but it's got great safety features that makes it very convenient and easy to drive. It's got the lane following assist, lane keeping assist, the highway driving assist, the smart cruise control, which is great. You just set your speed. You set how close you want to follow the car in front of you. Your car will speed up and slow down according to how fast anybody is in front of you. Um, you, you, you still have to you still have to have your hands on the steering wheel because it will remind you, hey, put your hands back on the steering wheel. And it is something to get used to that the, 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 the computer is working to keep the car centered in the lane. And so you're getting all these little adjustments of the steering wheel under your hand that the car is doing. So that does take a day or two to get used to or maybe a week. Uh, it just depends on you. But it's a great safety feature, especially if you ever get momentarily distracted from doing something in your car maybe you're on your phone looking at a text i know we're all supposed to pay attention to when we drive but you know occasionally we do get momentarily distracted so great great safety features um so let's get to the video and see these um see these features in action all right so we want to take a look at the lane keeping assist how well with the highway driving assist, lane keeping assist, and there's one other thing that this is called. So I have programmed on the lane keeping assist is on, but every time I start my car, I have to, you can either see in the windshield, this white circle goes off, the white circle goes off here. If I hit, and I need to look up the names, I'll put the name here on the screen, what this is. But it pops on here and it pops on here. So when it's actually working, when it sees two lanes, when it sees two lines on a road, then it can help keep you between those lines. And when it sees the two lines, it turns green. Like this road here, in my subdivision, there are no lines on the road, so it's white. It's white. It's white. It can't see any line. It can't see any. Uh, it can't see any lines to keep the car in line. In line. So we'll also use uh, when we get out on a busier road. We'll use the um, the smart cruise control so that I don't have to have my foot on the gas or with the brake. The car will speed up and slow down. Hospital in case somebody's having a heart attack. I'll already be just that much closer. All right, so now I have two lines. And you see, now that the circle turned green, now I have to, it, it, it will tell me, hey, put your hands back on the steering wheel, but I'm not steering right now. I am using the gas to speed up and slow down. So there's a little bit of a slide to the right. So I'm gonna keep my hands on the wheel. Well, I have to touch it, put some pressure. I'm not steering. I don't know how it senses the hands on the wheel. So I'm curious how well this is keeping me uh, centered in the lane. So it loses, I'm going to lose the white line up here for a second. Is it going to, no, it still stayed green. So the white line on the right wasn't gone long enough. So I'm going to go back to the left a little bit. Keep your hands on the wheel and the lane shifts to the right. I'm not steering the car. It is steering itself. I kind of, to me, now it seems like it's too far to the right. But we'll look on the, let's see if I lose my lines. Okay, now it flashed. Now it's still white. Come on, I gotta start steering because it took a while. It took a little bit longer for that green to come on. See, it's a little too far to the left. Now it corrected. So that's what I'm curious as I see, you know, from my driver's perspective, sometimes it seems like the car may be a little cheated to the left of center, or a little cheated to the right of center. And how well, because I have a camera on the center of the car, how well it is actually centered. Now I'm gonna, it's gonna shift to the right just a little bit. Okay, and I got this, keep your hands on the wheel. And I mean, I'm here, I'm ready to grab it. So it's kind of semi-autonomous now. As we go through the intersection here, I can lose my... Yeah, keep your hands on the wheel. 
I'm gonna have to put some pressure. Actually, I gotta do the blinker. So, one thing you do have to get used to is that the, the steering wheel will be, will be shifting under your hands uh, when you first start driving. It's a little, it's a really strange feeling uh, to have the uh, the car auto correcting itself as you're driving. So that does take a little bit of getting used to. Um, but you certainly, you certainly have to. Uh, it, it's it's not a self-driving car. It's just a great safety feature. If you view it as a self-driving car, well, you're gonna have an accident. If you view it as, well, I also have auto hold, so I can take my foot off the brake, so that's really nice. So if you view it as a safety feature, well, it will really keep the car as long as there's lines on the road. It'll keep my car in the center of the lane if I'm momentarily, and the key's momentarily distracted. And it makes you get in the habit of using your blinker because if you try to change lanes, uh, it will it will fight to keep you. So, like I have lanes here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get in the left lane. It, see, it wants to it wants to put me back in the center of this lane. So, let's go on cruise control. And let's hit set on that. And I'm going to pop up to about 75. So the nice thing about, especially if you're driving somewhere where you have a long stretch, you don't have to have your foot on the brake or the gas. Now my foot's close to the brake, so if I have to slam on the brakes, and the car is steering itself. I also will not count on the car to come to a complete stop. Yes, keep my hands on the steering wheel. So the light's red up here. And I'm shifting back to the left. I'm not going to count on the. I'm not going to count on that to make me come to a complete stop. Now it will if you're traveling slower and you're in traffic, and uh, you're coming to a stop and not a complete stop, and the light changes green. It will pick, speed up and slow down, which is a really nice feature. I like the auto hold a lot, where I can take my foot off the brake. So in a minute here, I'll start speeding up. I'll re-engage the smart cruise control here. And uh, now it won't accelerate as fast as I would normally. I'll accelerate a little faster. But I'll hit the smart cruise control back on. And now this is as far as, this is as close as I can follow a car. So it doesn't accelerate as much as I would. But doing a good job of keeping me centered in the lane. It's speeding up and sensing the car in front of me. I like this blind spot detection. Somebody was in my blind spot. I'm um, going to keep my hands on the wheel. So it comes a little closer to that van that I want. Keep your hands on the wheel. Let me press on the steering wheel but not change the... I'm not steering but I'm pressing on the wheel. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know. I don't know. I have to look up how it senses hands on the wheel. So now that this car, whoo, you're drifting over towards me. You're going to hit me. So I was watching. I was ready to pull away from that van. But now that the Infiniti SUV got out of, my, out of my way, the car speeds back up. Let's go even faster than 75. We'll go up to 82. We're going 76. The speed out on this cruise control set at 82. I'm going to catch up to this Mercedes SUV. Now it's slowing down. This is as close as I can follow a car, which uh, I'll, I'll typically follow a car a little closer, otherwise people will just cut in front of you. Uh, I don't know if it's like great for stop and go traffic. Um, it certainly would be because I wouldn't. I don't know if I did this in bad weather. So this is a nice gentle curve to the right. Now this car does not handle sharp turns. So I got a car beside me, I gotta be ready to grab the steering wheel. So I handle that nice curve to the left, and it's gonna curve back to, oh, I'm gonna speed up because the Mercedes getting out of the way. It's gonna speed up, I wanna see how it handles this curve to the right. Very nice, I'm gonna come off cruise control, because I wanna turn around up here at the hospital. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. That's me slowing down now, I'm gonna hop over. I'm going to do a U-turn up here. So I'm actually steering right now. 
I mean, I can stop staring at the car and get through that. I'm getting ready to turn left. So I'm gonna speed back up and catch up. Well, there's a red light up there. So, I'm gonna hit back on cruise control up to 82 miles an hour. Now, I'm not gonna count on this to stop me. I do have a green light. This is approaching a little too fast for me. Where well, I'm not going to trust the car to come to a stop. I have it on follow as close as humanly possible. Alright, so. At some point, I have to be over so, so many miles an hour for the cruise control to work. So the car is still doing the steering. I'm going back to auto, uh, back to cruise control. Actually, I'm going to speed up and get out of the intersection. Okay, so now cruise control set at 82, I'm going 40 miles an hour, and the car, I'm not steering the car, it's handling this gentle curve to the right, there's going to be a gentle curve back to the left, and then we'll also get, the, there's another street close to my house where I'm coming down a hill where, where it jukes off to the right. Alright, so the light turned green, so that's nice, so what I am going to do is, now I just went back to smart cruise control. I may lose my, going through this intersection, yeah, I'm going to steer back because I lost my line. So you have to be aware of that. We'll see, I like having that blind spot detection. I didn't realize that minivan was in my blind spot. Um, so really nice that you don't have to take your eyes off the road to know, hey, there's a car in your blind spot. You don't even have to glance over in your mirror. Even though the mirror has the blind spot detection that lights up, I can see the blind spot detection on my windshield. I'm not going to trust the car to stop me. I see there's the car in my blind spot. Now it's now it's where I can see it so the blind spot notification goes away. I like that that comes on when I change lanes. I got that real nice. I can see down the side of my car. Um, but the blind spot control, it does not see motorcycles, it doesn't seem like there's a bicyclist, it does not see these old bicyclists and motorcycles. So, you still have to be aware if there's a motorcycle in your blind spot. Alright, coming up on a red light, I'm not, I'm not going to try to make the car stop me for a stoplight. But just some marvelous safety features on this Sonata 2020 on the limited edition. I do like where these two circles turn into camera view. When I turn my turn signal on, I can see down the side of the car. This is only on the limited edition. We'll take a look because we're going to turn right at this next stoplight up here. I like that that comes on there. I can see there's like no bicyclists, motorcyclists coming up. All right, so we don't have our green circle. So we just got our green circle back. I can, the car sees the left and right lines. Now I am accelerating. I don't have cruise control set. Um, So we'll see how well it steers because as we go down the hill, the road will turn to the right a little bit. Well, not turn, but. All right, so I would get over a little more to the right where that white truck is passing. That white truck was kind of up on, up on the yellow line. So like if somebody else is drifting out of their lane, of course, I mean, that's why you should keep your hands on the wheel. All right, so up ahead, the kind of lose the white line and the road goes to the right at the same time that we're losing the white line so we'll see how I'm barely touching the steering wheel lost the white line but now we got it back but it's way over there okay so nice steering am I gonna go off here do I have to grab this nope it did it itself sweet then it goes back to the left just a little bit but it's nice I don't lose the white line there Nice, nice, nice. Seems like it was getting a little close to the yellow line there, but not too close. And this is where I'm going to turn up here in just a second. And where I'm turning to, there are no lines on the road, so the lane keeping assist, steering assist, all that is gone. Once you get off a road, boom, the white line ended.
All right, guys, so there we have the 2020 Hyundai Sonata, some of the great safety features and the convenient features. Just really convenient if you have any distance driving to do. It just makes it so much easier. Really nice that the, the computer is working to keep your car in the center of the lane. Highly recommended. All right, guys, uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. It would help my channel. And if you found the information helpful or useful, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, remember to turn on notifications so that you don't miss when the next video comes out. All right, guys, thanks so much. And we'll see you in the next video.